Hey guys, welcome back to Artelic Heart. And in celebration of the holiday and Christmas season, I'm going to be doing a series of art videos showing you how to do some fun kind of Christmassy, uh, wintry kind of themed art drawings. <laughs> so let's get started. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to draw reindeer. So I'm going to start off with kind of an oval shape for the head of the reindeer and then a nice circle shape for the shoulders and I'll connect that and unlike a horse it, it's kind of the, the neck doesn't round the, the neck bone doesn't round it kind of sags down a little bit it's kind of more of a deer neck um, obviously reindeer deer yeah anyway okay so shoulders large kind of circle shape for the barrel of the reindeer and then a smaller circle for its rump and we're going to kind of go over the withers right there and then along the back which actually rounds up uh, a horse back kind of bends down and over but a, a deer's kind of uh, bends up and down along the haunches so probably not as comfortable to ride the bottom of it is really going to be quite flat where the horse really kind of curves up towards um, the back of it this one just kind of they're they're bulky I suppose kind of change a little bit depending on the time of year how much bulk they have on them so I'm gonna put in my legs now and I'm gonna do that with just stick figures so that I can kind of just focus on where they're gonna come from so coming off the shoulder blade coming back to the kind of the back um, elbow of the of the reindeer I'm gonna bring his uh, front leg out and put a, a circle for the joint and bend that back in for his hoof and then this one I'll just kind of have coming straight out like this and then back here kind of coming towards like the knee and back to the back ankle and down and this one will be stretched out just a little bit more there we go so we have our deer shape our reindeer shape so we can kind of focus now a little bit on the head up here and I'm going to kind of make a flat end for the nose and it's just going to kind of curve down just like so and then I'll have his little ears I'll just put a little circle there for the ears flush in the legs now and as the hind haunches kind of come down they're going to get a little bit thinner so they're going to be thicker up here and as they come down they're just going to get a little bit thinner and then kind of round off towards his hoof there and then his other back leg coming out and again as it kind of works its way out it gets just it just gets thinner and thinner and then comes on down and they have just this little kind of a fuzzy little reindeer tail right there and depending on if it's a uh, cold winter they'll have you know, obviously a more winter coat on them I'm gonna go ahead and give them um, this reindeer kind of a little bit more of a shaggy front coat their fur kind of is pulled down to kind of this shagginess right there and tuck that in there flush this out so this is kind of, if this is new to you, I would um, definitely suggest checking out some of my How to Draw Horse tutorials because it will really take you through step by step on how I'm doing this. It'll be really easy for you to translate what you learned in How to Draw a Horse video into How to Draw a Reindeer. Okay, and then back to his hoof. Now he has the split hoof. So he has like these two big toes. Instead of having like the rounded um, horseshoe that a horse would have, he has more, um, more of that slip slip toe. It helps him to cover a lot more icy and snowy terrain with that kind of feet. And he has a kind of like little back nubbed on his little heels there. And because he's kind of a reindeer in snow, I'm going to actually not really worry about drawing these bottom hoofs or feet. I'm going to put them in the snow. So we'll see this one here, but the rest of them will be in the snow just to add a little bit more atmosphere. But if you wanted your reindeer to be um, running in non-snow environment, you could definitely just, you know, just sketch those in. Very much like a horse hoof, only split. 
Now the last defining feature that we're going to work on is sketching his antlers. And that can be something that's a little bit challenging, so I'm going to show you a trick to doing that. Just like with many different things that I draw, uh, if it's complicated, simplify it. And instead of working and just trying to get all that out in, in great detail, just simply stick them in um, with a stick, kind of like drawing. So I'm just going to just take a line. I'm not worrying about thickness or you know little points to his antlers. I'm just worried about the shape. That's what I want right now. And you can have his antlers as big or as small as you want. And once you have just this this general shape done, then you can kind of figure out if he has any like little points sticking out anywhere. And a good way to find out that is again to look at some reference photos, but really you can just have at it. I don't really see a rhyme or reason aside from a bunch coming this way and a bunch going that way to um, to how they go. Like do they have to have a point here or do they have to have a point there? They just kind of are their own individual things from what I've observed. I haven't done a lot of stakeout studies of reindeer before. So after I do this, then I'm going to go back through and just thicken those lines, put in his little points there. All right, so we have one set of antlers, and so I'm going to put the other in. Now, I always thought that the two antlers had to mirror each other, but one of my friends who is um, a hunter said that, nope, they can be a little different. They don't have to be absolutely precise. Kind of think of the antlers as related to one another, so there's a resemblance, but they don't have to be precise on, you know, point for point. You know, sometimes they get broken a little bit, or they just develop differently. Um, so you can, ha you don't have to worry about that too much, is what my friend said. So, if you disagree, you can take it up with my friend. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna fix his ear there. Just put this kind of rolled little ear right there. And then I'm gonna put his eye right in there. All right, so this is the point that you want to take another look at your reindeer and make sure he's exactly the way you want him. I'm gonna make his face just a wee bit longer than what it was. Maybe just thicken this up just a little bit. Once you have him the way you like him, then you can go ahead and take your eraser and erase the lines that you don't need anymore. So he's all erased and I've darkened in my lines just a little bit. So now I am at the part where I can start adding in my detailing. So I'll take my pen and or my pencil and I'm just going to go back over and just fix up things um, to kind of sharpen them up, crisp up the details. So I'll start with his eyes. And his eyes appear to be um, very similar to like a horse or a cow. Just that soft, gentle little kind of eyeball. And his nose is a little bit different. It's definitely not like a horse. Um, it's a lot larger than say like a regular deer. Um, so I, I would say kind of a mixture of a deer and a cow. <laughs> His mother was a deer and his father was a cow, but he's okay with it now. And then as we get down towards the bottom, everything just starts to get shaggy. So you can just use those kind of jagged lines to give you that um, feel of fur and a long kind of a wintry shaggy coat. All right, so here comes the part where you can color him. So you could use colored pencils, you know, watercolors, paints, uh, markers, crayons, whatever you'd like, or you can just um, go with like a traditional, just use your pencil to add some shading. I'm just going to finish adding just a little bit of detail to the background and my reindeer is done. It'd be really easy to change this deer into one of Santa's deer. Just put a little harness on him and some jingle bells. Have fun with this reindeer. I 
Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave a little thumbs up or a comment in the comment box below just to kind of in, show me that you like this kind of stuff. If you're new to this channel, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss out on any future videos. So until our next art video, which should be coming out in the next few days, keep practicing and we'll see you next time. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.